public speaking is not about transferring information, it's about making memories. So that was a, a public speaking course that I did. I believe that one was in Prague. Mm. And what most people misunderstand public speaking and think that it's about kind of taking a brain dump on the audience. You know, here's everything I know, blop. Um, now, the problem with that is that if you ask people five minutes later, what did the speaker talk about? They go, oh, I have no idea. Oh. Um, on the other hand, if people need to do something with their speech, so if they need to change their business or if they're going to have a new fitness regime or whatever, it, whatever change you're asking people to make with your speech, they can't make that change if they can't remember what you said. And most people will remember something that happened more than what was said. Mm. So then um, I borrowed actually that idea from a music producer called Tom Jackson who works with live bands and says that a concert is not about the music, it's about the memories. True. And I realized the parallels between what he was saying is he says, you know, if you get a band that just stands on stage and plays beautifully well on the instruments, but it just someone's strumming a guitar, no one will ever want to come back. It's the same with a speaker. If they just stand and, and say stuff, they've said stuff, big deal. If there's something that they've done or said or made people feel that lodges in people's brains, then actually they've done a whole lot more. A memory is just a fact with an emotion attached. That's Dr. Caroline Leaf, a neuropsychologist. Memory is just a fact with an emotion attached. So if you're speaking, make memories using some kind of emotion. Um, is that going to be a crazy prop? Is that going to be hiding in the wings? Is it, whatever it is, find something that talks about your main point and lodges it in people's brains in a way that they're not going to forget when they go to coffee. <laughs>